If I say a rally car from the 1960s, rear wheel drive, usually a Cosworth tuned 1600 engine, and it was made in Europe, what do you think of? This is my 1968 Ford Escort 1100. At least it used to be an 1100 before I came along. What's up there now is a 2 liter overhead cam, also known as the Pinto engine. This car was built in April 1968 in Germany. That's kind of strange because official production started in September 1968. It was sold new in May 1968 and it lived its life until it turned 8 or 9 years old. That's when the 1100 blew up. And the car was then shot at, which I can show you. You can see there, that is shotgun. That is also a shotgun. That is a shotgun. And that, and that is a rifle. After that, the front end was chained to a tractor and it was drug into the woods, flipped over and rolled down the hill and landed on its driver's side, where it stayed for 40 years until one day back in 2015, I might have managed to say that I kind of want an Escort Mach 1 with round headlights. And my dad went, well, there is one up in the woods here. It's been there for 40 years. And I had, had no hesitation with running out and trying to find it. When I got there, I just saw a pair of wheels poking out of a hole, of, uh, poking out of a mound of moss. And from the wheelbase, I could just figure out that that got to be an escort because it's so short. Sure enough, I ran down there, and this is what greeted me. The front end was well, almost pulled off of it, and it was on its side. The passenger side door was bent, and it was really a mess. But I went down there, got a hold of the landowner, pulled it back out, and took it home. Power washed it and stripped it completely while what was left of it wasn't a lot left. I tore all the suspension off of it. I replaced all the front suspension with uh, parts from a Capri 1600 GT. I guess those fit over. And they are more heavy duty, considering I was already going to put that 2 liter in there. Now, interior, I had nothing. Literally. These rubber moldings here are from a Volvo 740. And if you look in here, these are bucket seats that I traded. These are actually pretty expensive. I traded these for doing a motor swap in an Audi A4B5 wagon. And made a center console, and this is going to be way too dark to see, but I made a center console with gauges in it that is... Uh, water temp, air fuel ratio, oil temp, and oil pressure. Start button, ignition switch, headlights, turn signals, heater defroster, and windscreen wipers. Then there's a lot of fuses. I have a Grant GT steering wheel. And the factory gauges, I got a hold of those after a while and now I've always wanted an escort like deep down inside I always wanted one I always liked them I thought they were cool then I was watching uh, Fast and Furious 6 where Paul Walker drives a Mach 1 escort the blue one and I just kind of remember that I want an escort so I went online and had a look and Found Mach 1 Escort, all right, price tag, holy moly, over expensive. So I kind of figured that I just got to wait until I got enough money and 
don't want anything else. But I found this thing, and I got it for free. So far, it hasn't even cost me, well, a considerable, um, a considerable amount. I think this is pretty much the cheapest car I've ever had. It hasn't even cost me what a regular car costs for scrap. So, I'm pretty good in it. This, I, when I first found it, I kind of thought I should just probably beat it out or either just replace every single body panel there is and get it 100%. And, well, these kind of persuaded me otherwise. Just some old stickers. They are probably almost as old as the car is. But they are so good and so intact that they just kind of told me that, wait a second. I just leave this car the way it is, fix all the bad rust holes and fix everything that you kind of have to do, and then just leave it this way. Why wouldn't I? But anyway, after I stabbed that two liter in it and I made a video of it barely running, well it ran but barely drove, because the clutch, well, I had the starter out of it and it looks like a mouse nest of clutch parts in there. It is just all clutch fibers down there. So, what I'm going to do now is because that is my brother's Taunus. And in the back of that, in the trunk, there are two T9 5 speeds. And this has just a 4 speed. Now, he might be taking one of the 5 speeds, but I'm taking the other one and shoving it in this. Now, I know that those 5 speeds kind of hold up to about 180 horsepower. Fair enough, a 2 liter over at cam doesn't have much more than 100 and I think these are rated 114 or something. Because it's a late Ford Sierra engine. It was, it's a 205 block, so it's the same block as the Cosworth 2 liter over at cam Sierra Cosworth engines. It is the same as those. And... Well, actually, inside the car here, I have a Cosworth two-wheel drive oil pump with uh, spray bars up to the pistons to keep them cool. I'm going to be installing that later, but I'm also going to be installing, instead of that carburetor, I have a fuel injection setup and a turbo. So this is going to be a turboed two-liter Pinto. Now, if you are following this channel, you'd already know that I have a couple of videos of this one earlier. Now, this is going to be the first one in a while, and then there's maybe another one coming up, because I'm going to have to drive it when I get the clutch replaced, because I have to drive it back out of here, because the Granada is coming in this weekend, and this is Thursday, I'm shooting this, it's coming in because the parts for it is coming in the mail tomorrow. Those are re rear wheel bearings and all four ball joints. Gotta replace those and get that car registered and on the road because I'm tired of driving a Subaru. No hate on Subaru, I just don't like it. Pretty much. So anyway, if it's your first time on the channel, or even if you've been here before but not subscribed, subscribe. And like, comment to any video you might find. Good comments, bad comments, I really don't care. You got anything to say, you can just say it. I always appreciate some constructive criticism, and uh, take care, I'll see you later.